Proton 7.0-5 is out now for Steam Deck and Linux desktop, further improving the translation layer to run Windows games. It was previously available as Proton Next that I did a video on, so if you have any games you've set onto Proton Next, you can go ahead and just untick the compatibility option, as it is now the main version of Proton, that's the default on pretty much everything. Proton updates like this just show up in your Steam downloads like any other game, and you don't need to go searching as pretty much everyone will have the standard version of Proton installed. So what's actually new? As a reminder, I'll go over the changelog for you. With Proton 7.0-5, the newly playable games include Rift, Unravel 2, Airborne Kingdom, Nancy Drew, The Legend of Crystal Skull, the classic racer Revolt, although for Revolt, I would suggest taking a look at my previous video where I run it through a modern game engine with the help of Lux Torpeda. You should see the video pop up in the corner and it will be linked in the description. Also now supported is Aspire Inner's Tale, Battle Realms Zen Edition, Death Smiles 2, Primal Carnage Extinction, Pico Park Classic Edition, Six Ages Ride Like the Wind, Dark Star 1, Indiana Jones and the Emperor Tomb, Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. On top of that, there's a whole bunch of bug fixes for other games, including a fix for Batman Arkham City Game of the Year launching in the background on Steam Deck when set to full screen, a fix for Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered displaying a dialogue about outdated drivers on AMD systems, a fix for Final Fantasy IV 3D Remink having no audio, a fix for Return to Monkey Island not reacting to mouse clicks after a game update, Upside down videos in VR chat and many other games should no longer be a problem. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies and Multiplayer should no longer hang on the exit. There's a fix for bail or jail crashing when opening the terms of service. They've improved GTA 5 not loading textures. A fix for Red Dead Redemption 2 crashing after a game update. They fixed the Final Fantasy XIV Online Launcher after a game update. They fixed Cutscene Stutter in Disgaea 5. Fixed a Thrustmaster Hotus having a non-functional dial in Elite Dangerous. Planet Zoo should no longer randomly crash on you. SCP Secret Laboratory not being playable after a recent game update again. Tekken 7 should no longer crash on launch. Armello should no longer hang on exit. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization Freezing after the tutorial was solved. Space Engineer's intro video not playing correctly was fixed. And they also fixed Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen videos not playing correctly. And they also implemented network video support for VR chat. And the final one is an update to DXVK to a later version. This is the part of Proton that translates Direct3D DirectX over to Vulkan. So that is all that's new in Proton 7.0-5. But while I have you here, recently I did find an issue in Death Stranding Director's Cut where moving the right joystick on the map can cause the Steam Deck to actually do a reboot or it can crash to an error message or sometimes just freeze and you have to manually kill it. There is a fix on the way thankfully though with a Valve developer mentioning to me on Twitter that they are testing the fix but they're being careful as it will invalidate the current pre-compiled shaders. So at some point there will be a SteamOS update for that as it's a fix in the GPU drivers. So if you've also seen that issue in Death Stranding Director's Cut, stay tuned on the fix for that. As always, do let me know what you think in the comments and check the description for more info and all the links, and I'll see you later.